What's up everybody? Welcome back to NJ Cocktails. My name is Kenny and today we are making a white Negroni. We are filming this video during Negroni week, which uh, for those of you who don't know is a holiday week in the cocktail world. This is National Negroni Week. Uh, by the time you guys see this video, it will be several weeks past Negroni week. Um, but we just got done filming a regular Negroni and I am in Negroni mood and I wanted to make a riff on the Negroni. There are countless different versions of Negronis and different riffs using different spirits and different bitter liqueurs. And uh, if you haven't seen my regular Negroni video, please uh, look back in the videos and go check that one out. It was a good one. Uh, today we are going to be making the white Negroni, which is a riff on the classic Negroni, um, substituting both the vermouth and the liqueur. So we're still going to be using gin, uh, but we're going to be substituting the Campari for a gentian liqueur, uh, Suze. And we are going to be substituting the sweet vermouth for a white wine aperitif, uh, Le Le Blanc. The White Negroni was created in 2001 by a European bartender by the name of Wayne Collins. Uh, it is equal parts just like the original and um, that's really all the history or uh, fun facts that I have for you on it. Um, I've only had this drink one time and uh, it was a long time ago so I'm actually really excited to make this today because um, I don't really remember what it tastes like and uh, so I'm excited to try it. Um, the original from uh, what I can find uh, on the internet through my research, the original was made with Plymouth gin, so that is what we are going to be using as well. You can use any London dry gin that you have um, on hand at home, so uh, Beefeater, Bombay Sapphire, Tangeray, uh, anything like that will work. Um, Plymouth is what we're going to use. And then uh, for our white wine aperitif, we are going with Lillet Blanc, and our liqueur is going to be a gentian liqueur, uh, Suze. Uh, these two ingredients, uh, there's really not going to be a viable substitute for this drink. Uh, you can use other uh, liqueurs or another white wine aperitif. You can use uh, you know, something like uh, Cochi Americano uh, would work here as well, uh, but it's gonna give you a a little bit of a different flavor profile. Um, and again, you know, uh, Suze is a very proprietary flavor. Uh, so that's gonna be a tough ingredient to sub with something else. Not that you won't end up with a good drink with a different substitute, but uh, you're not gonna end up with, you know, this drink, which is what we're going for. Um, all right, enough, um, enough talking. Let's get into making the drink. We are going to start off with one ounce of Suze. One ounce of our Lillet Blanc. Now this is a white wine aperitif, 17%. Uh, this, um, this will go bad on you, uh, should be kept in the fridge. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've had my bottle for probably about nine months now. And uh, every time I pull it out, I expect it to um, you know, be completely oxidized and taste like vinegar. Uh, it definitely isn't as sharp as the day I opened the bottle, but it still tastes uh, like Lillet, and so I keep using it. Um, definitely want to keep it in the fridge, but uh, you know that's uh, that's my Lillet disclaimer. And uh, we're gonna move on to the gin. One ounce of Plymouth. We are going to stir this drink down and serve it in a double old fashioned glass over a large cube of ice. 20 to 30 seconds should do it.
That should be good. We're going to strain that into our glass. So the garnish for this drink, uh, I've seen two different garnishes, um, you know, recommended. So a lemon twist or a grapefruit twist. Uh, I actually don't have any grapefruit on hand, so I am going to be going with a lemon twist. Uh, you can use either or. You're still going to get a, a great drink. Going to just spritz that over the top, get those oils out. And uh, there we have it, the white Negroni. Hey, let's give it a taste. So right away I get the lemon from the, the oils right on top of the drink. Um, that Suze is just such a gentian smack in the mouth. Um, and you really get that right away. Uh, it's kind of smoothed out by the Lillet. Definitely taste the gin. Um, this is a good drink. I can uh, probably safely say that this won't be for everyone. Um, Suze is a, is, a, is a very strong flavored liqueur. Um, so if you don't like bitter, um, you're probably not going to like this one. Um, I always encourage everybody to try something once, so I definitely would encourage you to check it out. If you enjoy the Negroni, you might, uh, you might really enjoy the white Negroni. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in as always. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below and check us out on our other social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at NJ Cocktails. And uh, if you guys want to see something special, Please let us know, send us a message or drop us a comment and uh, we'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching. Cheers.